you know, one of the things I noticed in the movie Pleasantville was that the books didn't have anything written in them. They, you know, before the uh, main characters got to the, you know, teleported to the TV show, there was nothing written in these books. And they had to tell the story to have the books be written. And that got me thinking that, you know, most books do not have any information in them to help us on our spiritual journey. Like, most books are just a distraction, I feel. Because if we're not evolving spiritually, you know, how important could that book be? Like, most books are worthless in a way. Because unless we are, we are kind, we are good-natured, living a morally upright life, doing the right thing every day, we, uh, you know, we're going backwards or at the least we're staying the same. So if a book is not teaching you that, then it's almost like there is nothing written in these books. You know, there's millions and millions, probably billions of books written throughout history. But how many of them actually have anything of, of substance in them? Like, not many. And it's because they aren't helping us become spiritually awake. You know, they're not concerned with morality. They're not concerned of how we treat our fellow man. And how we can Im improve every day to get closer to God, to basically live a virtuous life. Because if we are not doing that, in my opinion, we're all just wasting our time. You know, everybody, this world, a lot of it is based on competing with each other, you know, trying to show off <laughs> in front of each other, vanity, um, bragging, you know, living a fake life, whether it's online or actually, yeah, just living, having a life online that doesn't even, or what your life is like in the real world. It's all just, you're just trying to show the best version of yourself online, but it's not even accurate. Like it's just all lies in a way. And a lot of things in this world are just fake. Being virtuous, being a man of God, being a woman of God, you know, that is what is real in this world to me, you know. These are all just my opinions and how I see the world. But living a morally upright life, just like the characters in the movie, character after character started becoming colorful and becoming colorful happens when we live through our spirit when we see all around us you know we see people that have a spirit you know they're just not their body because we know our spirit you'll be more apt to be kinder loving and just being a good person in general so the more you spiritually ascend, the more real life gets. Because just like the movie, when David and Mary Sue, they became part of the TV show, you know, everything was perfect at first. It, it, you know, it showed all the uh, guys on the basketball team. They were just making every shot, you know. Everything, it was one of those 1950s uh, TV shows, so everything is just pictured perfectly. And, you know, I think the movie was trying to point out that, you know, life 
isn't perfect. We don't want a perfect life. And we have to go through struggle and pain on our spiritual journey. And if we all had a perfect life, if everything was easy, if everything um, was just the way we wanted it every day, then our lives would be pointless because we have to learn to be virtuous. We have to learn to achieve what we want to achieve in life. You know, we all have to become the best version of ourselves. You know, the way I did that was becoming closer to God. And, you know, at first, when I first started my spiritual awakening, you know, I didn't pray to God for five years. You know, I do, I do think it is important to pray to God, but I get why you, why somebody might not just start praying to God right away. Or even if you, if you don't want to pray to God, like it's not, you know, every person is different, right? I just know it became a lot easier when, you know, I started talking to God because it's, it's way easier to become virtuous in this world because the, the devil is always testing us with, you know, are you sure you're on the morally upright path? You know, are you sure you are a good natured person? I'll send tests at you through all the things in your life, you know, you know, through the people you talk to throughout your day. Like the devil's going to try to push your buttons and see how you react. And if it's all about staying morally upright and doing the right thing day after day, improving day after day, you know, loving yourself, being kind to other people. When you do these things day after day, you become a virtuous person. And just like the characters in the movie, if you want to have more meaning in your life, you achieve it through your benevolence. You achieve it through following your heart and caring about yourself and all the people around you. And when we do that, we live a life worth living. You know, we all have to grow. We, we all can't have the same mindset we did when we were 18 years old. You know, at a point, we have to look at ourselves like we see all the greats, all the great people that we've seen in sports, you know, and especially the, uh, the spiritual people we look up to, you know, a lot of, you know, we look up to, a lot of people look up to Jesus and, you know, Buddha, and it's like, you have those same qualities. You just have to, you know, talk to God more. You have to make sure you are living a virtuous life and work on that every single day. Because when you do that, you become the person you've always wanted to be in your heart.